Intern Angela went as Colonel Sanders yesterday for Halloween. I was Colonel Sanders last year, and you were a chicken. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I was. And look at the latest on KFC. Uh, apparently, they had a contest where they offered $11,000 if someone would name their baby Harlan Sanders. For $11,000? I feel like you'd have to pay me a little bit more to do that. Who else would you name your baby after? Like, what other products? Nobody. How about Jif? You're a big fan? I wouldn't name a kid Jif, even for a lifetime <laughs> supply of peanut butter. Uh-uh. Swiffer? No. <laughs> I might name a dog Swiffer. That seems like a good dog name. Seven two one zero ninety eight seven. Who would you name your kid after if you could name him after or her after any product? Linda holding to talk to us. Hey, Linda, what do you got? I was just listening to you on my way to work, as I do every single morning. Thank you. And just to let you know that I love the both of you. You are such a great couple to listen to in the morning. <laughs> oh, thank you and so much. You're welcome. Now, as you talk about names of products, I don't know why or for what reason, my vacuum cleaner, Dyson, came into mind. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? Dyson. It's time for Your Mom Must Be So Proud. Morons. I mean, idiot. Oh. I'm not a smart man. With Beth and Dave in the morning on Light 98.7. Cleveland, Ohio. Folks there were getting on a Greyhound bus bound for New York City. And... They start seeing the same sights over and over again. Like, hey, there's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame again. Hey, that looks an awful lot like downtown Cleveland again. Hey, isn't that the stadium where the Browns play in Cleveland again? Apparently, the driver got lost and kept circling Cleveland, Ohio. I fail to see what the commonality here is, Dave. Oh, do you? I do not know. I've never driven in Cleveland. Check your GPS, Beth, to see you how you me? do. Are no? you mocking just, my lack of directionality, just Dave? Just pointing it out. Uh, just because I get lost in the Sangertown Mall? <laughs> the driver got angry at the passengers who were all asking me, hey, what's going on here? And so he got mad with them and eventually pulled back into the Cleveland terminal, got out of the bus and left. What? That seems like a little extreme. He says they were disruptive, the passengers. Don't they, were, they have, like, GPS on that, the bus? That was the question that some of the passengers asked. Like, what what's going on here? Don't you have a GPS? You're disruptive. I'm getting out of this bus right now. I'm That's it. Drive your own bus. <laughs> the bus arrived in New York City eventually four and a half hours late. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Previously on Beth and Dave in the morning. We're talking earlier about Stephen King. If you don't know who Stephen King is, he's written, like, hundred books. He's a little irritated with the word amazing because he thinks it's overused. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I do think people say amazing and awesome too much. Like yeah. you say something's awesome when it's not really awesome. And I hate the word thing. My English teacher once told me, don't use the word thing. Think of something to describe that thing. Sometimes that's the best I can come up with. The thing next to the thing is under the other thing, just to the left of the thing. Beth and Dave. Isn't he amazing? With the best variety of the 80s through today. On Light 98.7. Do you remember when you were a kid and you used to dress up? Do you remember, like, what was your first Halloween costume? Superman. It was some kind of princess. Okay. But my aunt made a, um, like, an angel costume out of a little hat and mm-hmm. a sheet. It was my favorite costume because it was a real costume yeah. made out of fabric and stuff. You want to see Beth as an angel? Rare shot, by the way. Ha, ah, you're so funny. <laughs> you go you're where? so funny. Instagram. <laughs> it's on our Instagram page. You're such a tool. <laughs> Previously on Beth and Dave in the morning. Open up any freezer in the United States and you have a 17% chance of finding this inside. What? Breast milk. Breast milk. Mmm. Wow. (laughs) Good guess, but that's not the right answer. And and by the way, when I said mmm, I wasn't going "Mm." mmm. Thank you. (laughs) So it's not breast milk. What do you think? Money. Money. Beth and Dave with the best variety of the 80s through today on Light 98.7.